So how do you interpret quartiles? Well, quartiles, we've explained before, is basically, they're basically quarters. And what that means is the, regardless of how much data you have, you're splitting the data into four quarters. So you can use a box plot to serve that purpose of splitting the data up into quarters. But sometimes you can also use what's called a five number summary, which is the exact same thing as a box plot, but instead of having a graph to show where the data lies, you just write the numbers down. So here we see that you have the minimum, which is 35, Q1, which is 45, the median is at 50, Q3 is at 65, and the max is 85. So again, because these are quartiles, we know that 25% of your data is between 35 and 45. 25% of your data is between 45 and 50. 25% of your data is between 50 and 65. And 25% of your data is between 65 and 85. So now that we understand that, we can look and begin to answer questions based on this understanding. It doesn't matter how much data is there. We know 25% of your data lies between each of these regions. So the question says the five number summary suggests that about 50% of Salesforce managers at Force Incorporated manage fewer than what number of accounts? So when you're doing this, essentially all you're doing is reading the table based on the understanding that each separation or each region is 25%. So they want to know that 50% of the sales managers at Force Incorporated manage fewer than what number of accounts? Well, we know, again, if you have 25% here, and 25% here, 25 here, and 25 here. It says 50% of the sales manage of the sales managers manage fewer than what number of accounts? Well, here 25 plus 25 is 50. So 50% of your information or of your data will always be lower than the median. So 50% of your data is going to be lower than 50. So we're supposed to manage fewer than how many accounts? It must be fewer than the median, which is at 50%. So the median is going to be 50, so it's fewer than 50 in this case. And obviously, 50% must, must also manage more than 50. So here's another table to look at each beach in Miami. So the question is, what percent of beaches in Miami have two or more surfers? Well, again, we recognize now that 25% of your data is between two and eight. 25% between eight and 13. 25% between 13 and 15, and 25% between 15 and 19. So what that lets you know is that since you're looking for two or more surfers, two or more surfers would be right here, which is the minimum. So what percent is going to be two or more? Well, they're all two or more. Everything over here is two or more. So altogether, that's 25 50, 75, 100% of your uh, beaches have two or more surfers. So here's a box plot this time. 
And again, it's no different. Once you recognize what e where each of the data points are, it's still 25, 25, 25, 25. So we have 25 here, 25 here, 25 here, and 25 here. From there, you can answer any question that requires you to interpret. So the box plot suggests that Olga served fewer than what number of aces during about 75% of tennis matches? So fewer than what number of aces during about 75%? Well, we know that 75% would be 25, 50, 75, which would be right here. So essentially, they're asking you, what are, where, are, where is Q3? That's basically what they're saying. Because it said that it should be fewer than what number of aces during 75% of the matches? It would be fewer than 10. Because 10 is 70, represents 75%. So if it's fewer than 75%, it must be fewer than 10. And then on the flip side, before we move on, on the flip side, that also means that 25% must be more than 10. And then finally, what percent of salons in Janesville employ 18 or fewer stylists? So 18 or fewer stylists. So we're just looking for the number 18. 18 is the max in this case. Okay. And we know that every portion of the box plot is 25%. So 25, 25, 25, and 25. The question asks 18 or fewer. Well, all of the data points is going to be fewer than 18, so the answer must be 100%. So 100% is going to be fewer than 18, and the, the leftovers, 0%, is going to be more than 18. So 100% would employ 18 or fewer dollars. So before I finish up with this, what I want to just uh, encapsulate is this basic idea. If we know that each portion is 25%, if I start with my minimum, then obviously 0% is going to be less than the minimum. And 100% must be more than the minimum. So at the minimum, 0% is less and 100% is more. At quartile one, that just means 25% is less. And then 75% must be more. At the median, that must mean that 50% is less and 50% is more. At quartile three, that would mean that 75% is less because 25, 25, 25, and 25. That must mean 75% is less, leaving 25% to be more. And then finally, at the maximum, that will leave 25, 50, 75. 100% of the data is less. And 0% must be more because nothing is more than the max. So that's the basic concept. And if you need to go back through the questions again uh, with that understanding, then, you know, by all means, just make sure you have that down because it, uh, interpreting interquartile ranges is not any more difficult than that. I also have a chart on the assignment log that you can use for your reference. So I hope this helps and let's get it done.